How you doing? So uh, welcome to my video and what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the video into two parts. So it's going to be the quick part, which is the summary for people who don't like my uh, rambling. And then I'm going to do a, a long explanatory part. So, <clears throat> excuse me, the quick part is the tap stopped delivering water. So I suspected the pump had stopped working. We brought the van over to VW and they checked out um, the fuses and the various electrics and they established that the pump was indeed not working and it needed to be replaced. And the complete cost to replace the pump and the work came to €330 Euro and it was done within a day. Uh, that's the quick part. Okay, so moving on with the um, slower part of the video. So, um. Okay, so what happened was we'd, we'd gone out in the van recently, uh, you know, again, because of the lockdown, we're not we're not going too far, thankfully. And um, I actually just wanted to wash my hands. And um, when I when I when I turned on the uh, sink, obviously no water came out. Um, all I heard was the click of the switch, obviously, inside the tap and there was no act, no activity. So I assumed based on um, one of the sockets going in the van before that it was maybe a fuse. So I checked the fuses and the fuses are the, the fuses for the van are the fuses underneath the front passenger seat, right? So that's where they are. And um, they're little orange five amp fuses. And um, let's make sure I'm in focus. So um, check those, nothing was gone. So then I, I looked up a few videos on, or I, actually I went to the VW forum to see if I could discover anything, you know, to see if there's any quick way of um, fixing this. And it turns out that um, from watching the from watching the various videos, so so trying to get access to the tank to get to the pump, what people seem to be saying is that the pump, the impellers in the pump can get stuck. Uh, and what I wanted to do, so that's obviously, that makes sense to me, right? So you, you, I, could, I, could, I could kind of understand that happening. So what I wanted to do was open up access to the freshwater tank, take the pump out, maybe give it a tap, see if it worked. Uh, because if the, if the impellers had gotten stuck in any way, then that would obviously save me having to do it. Because what I gathered from the forum was that it was going to cost me €150 Euro for the pump. And um, so I think that's what it was. I think the 327 I should have brought the thing out, but the 327 was um, approximately, I'm going to say, half was the cost of labour and then half was the cost of the pump. So um, I opened up the... Um, I, I gave myself access into the pump and that's when I discovered how, how ridiculously difficult it was to access these things. So again, it's another one of these VW designs where they've made it incredibly difficult to um, do something yourself. So DIY in this van is more or less a, a, non, a non-starter. Um, so what I did anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look to see what they did. I'm going to use my um, iPhone this video and um, what I'm going to do now is because I did open it so the last time what I did was <clears throat> I opened it as such Ooh, right now so I'm recording this now so open it up we have a few bits and pieces in here which they've obviously <laughs> thrown back in <laughs> okay I didn't think there was as much I didn't think there was as much stuff in there look something's wet Something's leaking. This must be leaking. That's another one of the issues with the van. Okay, let's see. I, uh, I keep a little air freshener in the van. It must have been thrown in here. Isn't that just typical? Anyway, at least it smells nice. I don't remember that pad being there before. Anyway, so what's going on? So, I opened this guy up. And... Yeah, it looks... It looks like maybe somebody... Yeah, it looks... Different. So the issue... The issue I had was... Oops. The issue I had... So... Trying to get access to this, so I had to undo this, I had to use a plumber's um, a plumber's wrench. So that's what I was using. But once I started to undo this, I started to knot this thing up, 
and there's a little plug in here that I wanted to take apart but f from my understanding of watching the videos is that you can't and it has to be cut or something like that I don't know um, but obviously clearly what they've done is they've they know what they're doing they've gotten access to in here taken the pump out and replaced it but you know maybe it's my ignorance I don't know but it just didn't seem to be very easy to do. I was trying to access it through here to see, but it was nothing. So trying to open this guy was quite awkward. I, I couldn't do it actually. You need you need some kind of special tool. And the fear I have with doing anything like this is that I'll always break it. And then I'm spend, spending a small fortune. So obviously you see that it's supposed to have, that's supposed to be fixed under there. So they've replaced the pump. Let's see now. I never checked the sink. Well, okay, I can't check the sink because I have my camera there. What I'll do is I'll check, but I'm assuming it is working. Okay. So as you can see, as you can see from my videos, organization is not one of my strong points. So, they've, well, I haven't checked the pump. I haven't checked it, but I'm assuming it is fixed. Um, so that's that's the end of that part with regards to um, calling in and getting it done. So so it was, it was relatively quick. The only problem was we had to go over, get the van checked. And then once they checked the van, we had to go back and get out the order in the piece and we had to go back. So at the moment, it's not too bad because of COVID. You know, the lockdown has us kind of close to home and everything like that. But I think there is a part where this is all very awkward. Uh, and this is the thing I think that VW don't kind of factor in. They don't factor in, they don't factor in the level of awkwardness that's involved in doing these kind of things. So Vanessa, um, I dropped I dropped Vanessa over to drive the van back, and then she went in with a list of issues that she's not happy with the van. So so anyone who's anyone who's familiar with the channel would know that we've had a lot of problems with the van. And um, so she went in and spoke to the guy who sold us the van and um, apparently they were very nice and then the service manager came out and Vanessa went through her list of issues that she has with the van. And what they've said to do is they've said to send her to email the list over and what they're going to do is they're going to take it up at VW. For example, one of the issues we have is when we pop up the roof, the canvas in that corner, right? So the canvas above the, the passenger seat pulls away slightly from the upper part of the roof. And we've noticed it. A little bit of light comes in, and it's not something you really want. So um, when I went onto the forum, my understanding was that um, apparently this is a recognised fault within early T sixes, which this is. This is one of the first T sixes. So um, it's a recognised fault that they made the canvases a little bit too snug, a bit too tight. So the guy was saying that if it is a recognised fault, that what they'll do is, even though we're not on the warranty anymore, that they're going to replace it, which would be a good thing, um, because. Well, look, we put up the Porsche screen, so that kind of protects it on some level. But again, you know, this is a very expensive van and you don't want to be kind of dealing with any issues. So the general gist of it is, that although I do love the van and I'm very happy with it, Vanessa is um, fairly browned off over the catalogue of things. And not only that, every time we have to go back over to VW, she, so it's about a 15 minute drive from here. So, you know, so, but, you know, so it's 15 minutes, 20 minutes over. It's true a part of Dublin that's quite congested. And um, then we have to, you're in there for 15 or 20 minutes and then everything. So it's an hour every time and then it's twice because you have to pick up the van. <clears throat> and you don't mind doing it every now and then. But we went over to get the van serviced. Then they discovered that there was a, that there was a, a, a repair needed in the engine. So that was back and forth. And then when we got the van home, the sink stops working. So we're back over there again. So you can see that's within the month. So within the month, I've spent 800 and nearly 900 euro I think it's 800 and, 870 880 euro I spent with the minimum now that does include a full service right to be fair so um, but that's the thing so she's going to send her email to these guys and then see what happens because what's happened what's happened is that Vanessa if, when we park up anywhere in the van and um, people come over especially have the roof up so when we were parked in Dolly Mount Strand and stuff like that with the roof up and people were coming over talking to us about the van. But Vanessa has taken to telling people not to buy a California. That's that's how kind of browned off she is. And it's only because not the it's not the experience of having the van. She loves all that. It's the um the issues. So she started to take and she started started to take started to tell people to buy uh, conversions 
instead. Uh, we have a good friend in Scotland, Donal, who has got a Gerba camper van and he swears by them. And Vanessa has seen a few conversions when we've been out and about. And um, she's she's really impressed by them. She thinks that the inner designs and all that kind of stuff are far better. So we're kind of, but obviously we don't plan on changing the van and we're kind of locked into having it, which means that um, it's a very expensive, um, well, we can't, we just can't afford to replace the van and therefore we have to kind of stay with it. But she has taken, to, she has started to say to people not to, um, to not buy it and go looking for a conversion instead. And that is a terrible indictment of, you know, the quality issues with the California. You know, things like when I was checking the fuses, just checking those fuses alone was very, very, very awkward. And trying to get in there is quite awkward. And just the design alone of all that kind of stuff. You know, if I could have opened that access port and taken out the pump and changed it, I would have, I would have done it if it was easy to do. But it, you live in fear that what you're going to do is cause more damage. And um, let's face it, every time I drop her over to VW, for them to inspect anything is 140. That's what they tell you on the phone. Uh, for them to look at the van is 140 euro. So you're 140 euro down before you do anything. Um, you know, so with the rattle there recently, there's a list of mile long. Anyway, so that's the end of the video. The good news is, presumably, I'll check it, that it is working. And um, that's that. That's that. So that's the end of the video. If you have any questions or any issues, let me know. Bye.